In this video, we are going to learn all about spheres. A sphere is a three-dimensional solid that looks just like this. It's sort of like a three-dimensional circle. Like a circle, it has a center point, and actually every single point on the sphere is the same distance away from this one center point. The distance that every single point on the sphere is away from the center is the radius. Now, if we go all the way across, that's called the diameter, just like in a circle. Now, the sphere has many circular cross sections, meaning that if you slice a plane through the sphere, you will get a circle in all the different cross sections. But if that cross section happens to have the diameter of the sphere in it, then it's called a great circle. So this would be an example of a great circle. So it's the biggest possible circular cross section that you can get from the sphere. Now two things that you wanna know how to figure out about a sphere are its surface area and its volume. The formulas for both surface area and volume require calculus in order to derive them. So for right now, we're mostly just gonna focus on using those formulas correctly. The surface area formula is four pi r squared. So you'll notice that the only information you need to know about the sphere is its radius. The volume formula is four pi r cubed divided by three. And again, the only information you need to know about the sphere is its radius. One way to think about the surface area is it's possible to sort of unwrap the sphere and reorganize it a little bit to turn it into a rectangle, where the rectangle has dimensions of two pi r, which is the circumference of the great circle, and two r, which would be the diameter in the other dimension. And you see you multiply those together and you get four pi r squared. Volume, is like if you imagine having a pyramid that has this rectangle as the base and then comes up from there with a height of r for the radius, then its volume would be 4 pi r cubed divided by 3. So that's sort of where the formulas come from, but again, you need actual calculus to be able to derive them. So let's say that we had a sphere with a radius of three centimeters. If we wanted to figure out the surface area, all we'd need to do is calculate four times pi times the radius of three squared. So when we do that, we get four pi times nine, which is 36 pi centimeters squared. Surface area always has square units because we're thinking about how many squares would it take to cover the sphere. For volume, we would need to do four pi times the radius cubed and then divided by three. So that would be four pi times 27, which is three times three times three, three cubed, and then divided by three which also ends up being 36 pi, but this time it's centimeters cubed because for volume we're thinking about how many little unit centimeter cubes would it take to fill up the sphere.